With the iPhone 14 lineup, Apple is finally releasing the long-rumored satellite connectivity. But a few weeks before they announced these, SpaceX and T-Mobile held a joint event where they announced their own direct-to-satellite communication for cell phones. So let's take a look at how these two services compare. Satellite communication isn't easy. Most satellite phones are dedicated devices made specifically for communication with satellites, not small smartphones for daily use. Apple and SpaceX have two very different approaches to this. So let's start off with the service Apple is offering. Apple is using satellite communication for a feature they're calling Emergency SOS via satellite. After attempting to call emergency services in an area without any signal, you'll be presented with the option to send emergency text messages via satellite. You fill out a few responses to help describe the situation you're in, and your phone will guide you to aim your phone at one of the Global Star satellites. When it makes the connection, it sends your responses, your medical ID information, emergency contacts, your location, and even your phone's remaining battery life. If the local dispatch in your area supports text-based communication, it can send that directly to them. However, if it doesn't, Apple will have call centers that can place the emergency call for you. The satellite connection can even update your Find My location. It will be available starting in November of this year and is included for free for two years with the purchase of an iPhone 14, though Apple hasn't hinted how much that service may cost after those two years expire. From a user's perspective, SpaceX and T-Mobile service will be quite a bit different. An early beta version of the service will be available starting in late 2023 and will offer a much more standard cell service to almost any 5G phone. It will allow text messaging at first, and eventually phone calls, and it won't be limited to just emergency use. Unlike Apple's offering, it also won't require aiming your phone at the satellite. It just uses the same antennas and some of the same frequencies as standard 5G. It's not meant to offer high-speed data or anything like that. The total speed will be limited to between 2 and 4 megabits per second. Not per phone, but per cell, which could have thousands and thousands of people in it. Still. That much data could be enough to support up to 2,000 phone calls and way more text messages. T-Mobile will include this satellite-based connection with many of their existing plans for no extra cost. Both Apple and SpaceX's service will be able to save lives by offering connection when far off the grid. But Apple's will be far more limited as it only allows communication with emergency services. With that being said, Apple's solution is just two months away and it makes that communication with emergency services much easier. While SpaceX and T-Mobile solution, while more capable, is optimistically at least a year away. It's hard to really consider these services direct competitors. While both aim to be life-saving when you most need them, one is a device-specific offering, while the other is a carrier-specific offering. By the end of next year, some people with iPhones on T-Mobile plans may be able to make use of both Apple's connection and SpaceX and T-Mobile's offering. There may even come a time when these two services are one and the same, as Elon Musk teased promising conversations with Apple on Twitter. Exactly how a partnership between SpaceX and Apple would work, however, remains to be seen. So how do these two services compare from a bit more of a technical side? For the satellites, Apple is making use of a partnership with GlobalStar to connect with phones. GlobalStar has 24 operating satellites in low Earth orbit that it uses for satellite phones and low-speed data connections. Apple and GlobalStar will use those to connect between iPhone 14 units and ground stations. Apple has a deal to use 85% of their network capacity. By comparison, SpaceX and T-Mobile use some of SpaceX's Starlink satellites. While SpaceX has already launched thousands of Starlinks into low Earth orbit, for the cell phone service, they need the second generation satellites, which will have a large, deployable antenna specifically for this cell phone connection. While Apple uses specialized hardware in the phones to allow satellite connection, SpaceX and T-Mobile are using much larger antennas in the sky to be able to pick up the comparably weak signals from a standard 5G device and antenna using T-Mobile's mid-band PCS spectrum. These second generation Starlink satellites are too large to launch on SpaceX's existing workhorse rocket, the Falcon 9, and instead, they have to launch on SpaceX's larger Starship Super Heavy rocket, which has yet to fly to orbit. In part because of this, SpaceX's satellites with this capability to connect with phones won't start launching until early next year, and the service won't be available in any capacity until late next year. 
Overall, from any sort of consumer perspective, SpaceX's service shouldn't really be a part of a phone purchase decision right now. While the service will be more capable than what Apple's offering, it's a long way away and connected to the carrier rather than the phone. And since SpaceX and T-Mobile's connection will come to standard 5G devices, it's no reason to wait on picking up a new iPhone if you need one. Apple's service, while limited, is going to be here in just a couple months. It will be active for people that most need to communicate in an emergency, and it will provide enough connection to get emergency services informed of your location and what's wrong, so they can get you help. For a life-saving feature, that's all that will be needed. Hopefully none of us will ever have to use Emergency SOS via satellite, but once you need it, either service will be invaluable. If you want to know more about these two services, head over to 9to5mac.com for our full coverage. Leave this video a like if it helped you out, and subscribe to the channel for more from 9to5mac.